Okay, I haven't been on in about five weeks. I've just been enjoying the summer and all that good stuff. But I had to come on and make a video about this because this is an absolute pile of piffle shit. It's absolute fucking shite. I'm sorry, I just had to say something about this. I understand there are lots of people who read daily newspapers, even if they're bollocks, you know? Like a newspaper like the Sunday Sport, for example, you know, all it is is full of tits and asses. Men like that kind of shit. And on the front page, they usually just print a pack of lies. Along with most British newspapers now, a lot of it is lies. But you can tell the truth from the lies. Basically, what you do is you have two stories. You have the truth and you have the lies. The first story will be the truth. It will come out with something like this. Now, regardless of the Sunday Sport, or the sport usually being a pile of lying bullshit, they most of the time on the front pages they always, you know, they, they give you the news, you know, anything that's been happening in the media lately. So they'll say 10 people blown up by a bomb. You know that's true, you know. They're not gonna make up lies about that because it's not it's not particularly funny to most people, you know. And then the next day they'll come out with a story saying that there was a bus found on the North Pole in an iceberg. <laughs> you know, that kind of shit. And it, that, that was funny. I mean, we all could have a little chuckle at that. But this is the shit that I don't get. And this is from the Metro newspaper in Britain. Kiss from Harry Styles gives mute girl back her voice. And this proves that the One Direction star is basically Jesus. Now the thing that gets me most about this article is that it is supposed to be true. They are not joking when they come out with this and nowhere along this article throughout, and I've read this entire thing which was produced in the Metro and also repeated by the Daily Star newspaper online, at not one point throughout both these articles did I hear them say or make it out that it was some kind of a joke. Throughout the whole article, they actually do honestly believe that One Direction star Harry Styles is in fact Jesus Christ. And this is the Yahoo article, which comes out with another outlandish comment statement. Harry Styles gives Mute Girl back her voice in One Direction Miracle. And at no point throughout this do they claim to be joking. But I'm sure it will rope in lots of gullible One Erection fans who will come into this and actually believe this horse shite. And I've actually read some of the comments below on a few of these sites and there are actually people going along with it believing that it's true and that they are fucking messiahs. It's pretty fucking sickening to put it mildly. And if you actually read the bit below, look. So he's basically Jesus now. We always knew he was special. <laughs> oh my fucking days. What a pile of piffle shit. Okay, so let's just have a quick brief read of what they said in the first story which was brought on the Metro newspaper online. A kiss from Harry Styles would leave most teenagers speechless, but for one fan it was the opposite. Laura Yeats had not spoken for six months after losing her voice to a double whammy of laryngitis. But the 15 year old found her voice after her idol blew her a kiss. Wow, that's, that's definitely a miracle. She had been taken to see One Direction at Wembley Stadium in London by her mother after four trips to hospital and sessions with speech therapists failed to have an impact. So doctors couldn't do anything for her voice, her laryngitis and what are that problem she had with her throat. So, you know, what can you do? So they just, they just carried about their normal life. Then he went to a One Direction concert and all of a sudden Harry Styles just miraculously done something. On the day of the concert, I was slightly upset because I would not be able to enjoy the atmosphere as much as the rest of the crowd. Why? Because you couldn't scream. Fuck me, man. You go to a One Direction concert, I'm sure they'd all be screaming so loud. Your ears would go anyway, then you wouldn't be able to fucking hear either. Okay, let's carry on. But we got so close to the stage and as Harry came over, he chucked water over us. I tried to scream. You can't scream, can you? Because your throat's all fucked up. <laughs> Just to make him notice me. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure he'll notice you. And all those screaming fucking fans there. And when he blew a kiss in my direction, the scream just came out. <laughs> okay, 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 we'll be serious, we'll be serious. I said to my mum, Mum, listen. Can't do that either because she's deaf from all the other fucking One Direction fans screaming, she can't hear you. But anyway, and as I tried to carry on screaming, my voice was coming back more and more. It's a fucking miracle it is. I was gobsmacked. I cried. 
I'm pretty sure you already cried about a One Direction fan. Anyway, then she called her father and he cried. <laughs> Everyone's crying. It's not One Direction all round. Everyone's crying. Now she is as keen on One Direction as her daughter. She said, I wasn't a big fan, but I am now. <sighs> she went in not talking and she came out talking. And she hasn't stopped. Laura from blah 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 added, no psychiatrist needed. No speech and language. No doctor or nurse was needed. They couldn't bring back my voice, but One Direction could. Listen, yeah, I've got nothing against you, yeah. I've got nothing against One Direction. I'm not having a pop at One Direction here because One Direction didn't really do anything. Literally, they didn't do a fucking thing. Harry Styles did nothing. He was just singing, yeah. You see, I could have went up to, oh, um, okay, not me. Somebody, for legal reasons, somebody could have came up to you on the street at any point in the last six months and they could have stabbed you in the back of the neck. <laughs> okay, that's fucked up. But I'm pretty sure you would have let out a scream for that. And what are you going to say to that guy? Are you going to say to the person who stabbed you in the back of the neck when you let the scream out that he's Jesus? No, he'd just be a fucking criminal. He'd be in jail. You see where I'm going with this? Anyway, the point is, at no point, that's the whole article, and at no point in the article did they state that they were joking in any way. And then you have Yahoo a day later just coming up with another load of bollocks similar to it, just spawning off, the, regurgitating the same bullshit that the fucking Metro came out with. It's just printing another load of bullshit just to draw, you, draw that gullible person who's actually... People actually believe this shit. This is what gets me more than anything. Kids and adults have replied back to this and they fucking believe it. They fucking believe this shit. But after Harry Styles performed an actual miracle last week, Oh my fucking days. It, uh, I just want to quote also, I've got nothing against religion at all. I'm, I'm not taking a pop at religion. I'm not having a pop at Harry Styles. I'm not even having a pop at One Direction. I'm not having a pop at the, the girl who got, this came back, whatever, voice came back. I'm having a pop at the actual tabloids for talking shite. Just making up pure bullshit. But after Harry Styles performed an actual miracle in full caps last week, it turns out that he's actually blimmin' Jesus. Where's the fucking proof, motherfucker? Show the... Where's the proof? What? what? Oh my days. Unfucking believable Look, it turns out he's actually blimmin' Jesus. And underneath it, it states, Who'd have thought it, eh? Well, clearly only Yahoo and Metro, because you're a fucking bunch of lying twats. A mute teenage girl who was suffering from laryngitis. Blah, blah, blah. The youngster hadn't spoken for six whole months and they highlight it in full caps like, wow, wow, six whole months, wow. Six whole months. But after Harry poured water on her, because he poured water on her first, they're trying to make out that that water was holy. <laughs> holy shit, what a load of bollocks, what a load of bollocks. But after Harry poured water on her, question mark, and blew her a kiss, everything changed. Yeah. Then everything changed, and underneath it, it went, yes, really, for the people who don't believe it. <laughs> like, that's going to convince me, it's going to convince everyone. Yes, really, yes, that really did happen. Oh, my fucking days, man. The curly-haired singer might know how to make catchy pop tunes, but he also knows how to cure incurable illnesses. So talented. Curable, you can cure and curable illnesses, then how about we take Mr. Harry Styles and we walk him into a hospital where some guy cannot walk or some guy has cancer and see whether he can turn that around. Let's see him cure that fucking illness. Let's see him walk in within an hour and cure it. You fucking bunch of pricks. And it, it, it's shit like that that fucking irritates me, you know? There's people dying of illnesses and we're talking about a little fucking hipster fag swag cunt that he can cure diseases, he can, dis he can cure stuff like that. Fucking pathetic. I just gotta show you this man. The curly haired singer might know how to make catchy pop tunes, but he also knows how to cure incurable illnesses. So talented. What a pile of shite. And here's another one. They're not just pop stars, they're miracle makers. One of their miracle makers, bring them down to the local hospital and see what miracles that they can actually fucking perform before booting them out on their piffle shit asses. Okay, let's just have a read of one or two of these comments here. God, Yahoo, you're making a fool of yourself, becoming more and more embarrassing by the minute. Totally agree. 
Yahoo is just turning into a pile of steaming shite. This one's probably the best one I've seen. I hope this article is correct and that Harry Styles is Jesus Christ just so I can <laughs> nail him to a cross and smoke a cigarette as he begs me for death. <laughs> now that would be fun, wouldn't it? I thumbs that up. That was fucking hilarious. Okay, so there you have it. The bullshit that they print on the internet just so gullible people can come in and actually believe this shit. Me personally, I don't have a problem if people print a load of lies up to a degree, as long as it's not going in the direction of trying to make people believe that they can actually cure incurable illnesses and they come out with outlandish bullshit like that. Because that's, that's not right to come out with crap like that on the internet, you know? It's not right to come out and say, well, Harry Styles can cure cancer. All he has to do, or he can cure AIDS. He can cure an AIDS patient who's got incurable AIDS by simply putting a bit of water on him and blowing him a kiss or blowing her a kiss, it will suddenly poof, go away. It's bullshit. That's the point I'm trying to get in this video. I'm not having a pop at anything else. I just don't like it when they come out with ridiculous shit like that. Yes, so thanks for watching and hopefully I should have a video up in the next seven days. I'm not going to leave my video as long next time. I took a bit of a break away from YouTube over the last five weeks because it's the summer and I had some stuff to sort out and do. But I should be making probably a few more, good few more videos in the next couple of weeks so stay tuned for that I will actually be uploading some more so stay tuned uh, I'll leave the link down below to um, my Facebook pages if anyone's interested coming over they can keep up to date on videos considering that everything on YouTube seems to be broken at the moment and nothing seems to be working subscription feeds so I'll leave my Facebook links down below if you're interested thanks for watching I shall see you in the next video piffle shits <laughs>